think the thing that people loved about Nijinsky was that his soul shone through whatever he did. You know, it's dance theatre, it requires acting and embodiment and full commitment, not just to the steps physically, but to the whole experience that we're trying to um, not just give the audience, but take the audience on this journey. Some pieces are just like you smile or you frown, and that, that's, that's, I guess, that's the bulk of it. But for this, you have to really tap into, like, you have to really find the character and really go 100% into it. So you kind of come out on the other side of just doing a run and you're not really sure what's just happened. Yeah, I think John's choreography is really liberating um, in the sense that it's, it's really whole. It has moments of um, very delicate, sensitive um, detail. It's clear learning it um, that he's after a very specific look and feel um, and sometimes sound. He's very clear about what he wants the feeling to come from in, in whatever he, he's doing. When it's not sensitive, it's very full and um, the commitment required to do it correctly is not just in the muscles or the bones, but it is your soul. It's bloody sad. It's really raw and emotional and you just, you probably just sit there stunned for the most part of the piece. Um, how I would describe the ballet of Nijinsky is a story about a man who was sincere and, and held the integrity of that sincerity despite the tragedies in his life. And um, it's a real challenge to do and to watch and to be a part of, but collectively I think the end result is just wow.